morning to everyone who is present over here on the prosperous occasion of Republic Day. Well, everyone know that we give lot of importance to Independence Day rather than Republic Day. But Republic Day is celebrated everywhere on the 26th of January and this year particularly we will be celebrating it as the 73rd Republic Day. Now this is celebrated to remember the historic moment when our nation became an independent republic country. As we all know that India got its independence on 15th August 1947 and the country didn't have its own constitution. Instead, India was governed by the laws implemented by the British government. However, after many deliberations and amendments, a committee headed by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar submitted a draft of the Indian constitution which was adopted on 26th November 1949 and officially came into effect on 26th January 1950. On the same day, Dr. Rajendra Prasad also began his term as the first president of India and the constituent assembly became the parliament of India under provisions of the new constitution. Dear students, you must know that as a tribute to India on Republic Day, ceremonial parades take place at the Rajpath. The celebration begins from the gates of Rashtrapati Bhavan, followed by Rezina Hill on the Rajpath. Past the Indian Gate is the main attraction on the Republic Day. After the ceremonial parade, there is presence of various dignitaries like the President, the Prime Minister and the higher government officials of the Rajnath. And apart from that, so one thing we all can do is to promise each other that we will become a better version of ourselves so that we could contribute to solving all these problems and making our nation a better place. Thank you, Jai Hind. பெற்றது இந்திய அரசியலமைப்பு சட்டம் பாராளுமன்றத்தில் நிறைவேற்றி இந்திய மக்களாட்சி தத்துவத்தை ஏற்றுக்கொண்ட ஒரு நாடாக அமைந்ததாக கொண்டாடும் நாள் தான் குடியரசு தினமாகும் குடியரசு என்றால் மக்களாட்சி என்று பொருள் கொள்கின்றது மக்களால் தேர்ந்தெடுக்கப்பட்டவர்கள் ஆட்சி செய்யும் முறையே குடியரசு ஆட்சி முறையாகும் ஆங்கிலேயர் ஆட்சியிலிருந்து இந்தியா விடுதலை அடைந்த பின்பு இந்திய அரசு நிர்ணய சபை தலைவராக டாக்டர் ராஜேந்திர பிரசாத் நியமிக்கப்பட்டார் அவரே விடுதலை இந்தியாவின் முதல் குடியரசு தலைவர் ஆவார் டாக்டர் அம்பேத்கர் தலைமையில் இந்திய அரசியல் அமைப்பு சாசனம் எழுதப்பட்டது மக்களின் விருப்புக்கு ஏற்ப தங்கள் தலைவரை தேர்ந்தெடுத்துக் கொள்ளும் போதுதான் சரியான ஆட்சி நிலவும் இந்திய உலகில் மிக பெரிய குடியரசு நாட்டின் குடிகளாக இருப்பதில் நாம் அனைவரும் பெருமைப்பட வேண்டும் உண்மையான குடிமக்களாக இருந்து குடியரசு தினத்தை கொண்டாடி மகிழ்வோம் வாழ்க பாரதம் And today, first I would like to thank the school for giving me such a great opportunity to speak on Republic Day. Today we are celebrating the 73rd Republic Day of our nation. It is a great and auspicious occasion for all of us. We should congratulate each other and pray to God for the development and prosperity of our nation. Republic means the supreme power of the people living in the country. 
and only the people have the rights to choose their representatives as political leaders to lead their country in the right direction. Therefore, India is a republic country where the people choose their leaders. Our great Indian freedom fighters have fought a lot for Purna Swaraj in India. They sacrificed their life so that the future generation does not have to struggle and they can lead our country forward. Dr. Rajendra Prasad is the first president of India. Ever since India got independence from the British rule in 1947, it has developed a lot and is counted to be the most powerful countries. With the development, some shortcomings have also arisen like inequality, unemployment, illiteracy, corruption, etc. Dr. Abdul Kalam said that if a country becomes corruption-free and becomes a nation of beautiful mind, I truly believe that there are three members who can do it. It is the father, the mother and the guru. As citizens of India, we should think about it sincerely and make all possible efforts to bring our country forward and to make our country the best country in the world. So let's all pledge to solve these social problems. Jai Hind and once again a very happy Republic Day. Thank you. Puri Devar was the king who ruled in Harkattan Jewel in the Sangaran Kail Taluka of Tamil Nadu. He was born on 1st September 1715 in Harkattan Jewel. His wife was Kaya Kani He was one of the first freedom fighter. He was one of the first Indian kings to fight and defeat the British and in the in India. He died on seventeen sixty seven. Thank you. Good morning, I am Bala Aditya. I study in Fort Standard. Veera Pandya Katta woman was born on 3rd January 1760 in Kayatar. He was married to Jakamal Katta woman. Veera Pandya Katta woman was the chieftain of Panjalan Kurichi in Tamil Nadu. He was total against the British East India Company and made war but unfortunately he was being captured by the British with the help of other ruler and was hanged at Kaitar. There is also a navy center named as INS Good morning to everyone. I am Keetana of Standard 5. Today I am going to tell about Veera Mangai Veeru Nachiya. Veera Mangai Veeru Nachiya was born on 3rd January 1730 at Ramanada Buram in Tamil Nadu. She was died on 25th December 1796 at Sivaganga in Tamil Nadu. Her spouse was Muttu Vadigal Nada Periya Uriya Deva. Veeru a brave princess of Ramanada Buram. She was a talented woman who was trained to fight with weapons also. She was performed in many languages. Her husband and, and husband and son were killed by British. To take revenge, she sacrificed herself, making a suicide attack on the British. However, she is the first female freedom fighters of India. Thank you. Good morning everyone. I am Ashwit from Standard 6. Today I am going to talk about freedom fighter Chinna Swami Subramaniya Bharati. He born on 11th December 1882 at Tayapuram and he died on 12th September 1921 at Chennai. His wife's name is Chellamal. She born on 1897 and she died on 1921. Chinna Swami Subramaniya Bharati was a versatile personality. He was a poet, journalist, teacher and freedom activist. Through his writings, he was able to make his points fight against social evil like child marriage, dowry and supported widow remarriage. 
etc. In 1918, the British arrested and released after only after he gave up the declaration that he would step out from politics. Happy Republic Day. Jai Hind. Thank you. Good morning. It gives me immense pleasure to speak about one of my favorite leaders, Thirupur Kumaran. I thank my class teacher, my principal and management of CSA UART Matriculation Higher Secondary School for giving me this opportunity to speak about Thirupur Kumaran. He was also known as Kodikatha Kumaran. He was born on 4th October 1904 and he died on 11th January 1932. Thirupur Kumaran is a revolutionary who founded the Desa Bandhu Youth Association to fight against the British. He died in an injury from police assault when he was protesting the British. He was holding a nationalist flag at the time of his death which was against British law because of protecting the flag even at the last moment which made us remember him even today. Thank you. Hi, I am Sanjit from 8th Standard. Today I am going to speak about Mr. Vivo Chidambaram Pillai. His full name is Valli Nayagam Ulaganathan Chidambaram Pillai. He was born on 5th September 1872 at Ottapidaram. He died on 18th November 1936 at Tutukuri. His spouse is Valli Ammai. Vivo Chidambaram Pillai, popularly known as Kappal Otiya Tamilan, started a Swadeshi Steam Navigation Company at 1906 to compete against the monopoly of the British India Steam Navigation Company. He was arrested in a protest. After releasing, he withdrew the membership from INC due to the differences with Gandhi and worked towards building labor unions. Jai Hind. At the outset, I would like to wish each and every one of you a happy Republic Day. I wanted to narrate a small anecdote to you on the occasion of the Republic Day. There were once four friends who had to write their exam the next day. The previous evening, they had gone for a party and they enjoyed themselves for such a long time that they did not have time to prepare for the exam. So the next morning they decided they would go to the teacher and ask for some permission before they wrote the exam. They said that as they had gone out of station the previous evening and when they were returning back, the tire of the car went flat. So they had to push the car all the way back home. That was why they were not able to prepare for the exam. The teacher also gave them three days time to come and write the exam. So after three days, the four boys were ready to write the exam. They went and met the teacher and told him, we are ready to take up the exam. The teacher said, there will only be two questions that you will have to answer and each of you must sit in a separate room. And the boys agreed because they had prepared well for the exam. So when they received the question paper, there were just two questions. First one, write your name. Second, which tire in the car went flat? There were four options. The front right tire, the front left tire, the back right tire and the back left tire. They had to tick one option. This might be a story and all four of them had ticked different answers. Today, the most important lesson that we have to learn from this incident is freedom comes with a responsibility. In our context today, the word freedom means doing whatever you want to do. But that is not the real meaning of freedom. Freedom always has some responsibility. If we can realize what the responsibility is, we will be able to enjoy real freedom. So as we celebrate the 73rd Republic Day, let us think for a while the responsibilities that are endowed upon us so that we can enjoy real freedom. Wish you all a very happy Republic Day once again. God bless all of us. Janagana mana adhinayaka jayahe Bharat bhagya vidhata Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha Dravida Utkada Vanga Vindya
हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे